Atish Adev uh, of uh, the BJP from Jharkhand also joining us on this broadcast. Uh, Mr. Dev, uh, the Congress, uh, the JMM, the combined there, uh, they blame the BJP for what's transpiring, for the political fallout that we're seeing there. See, it's very easy to put every blame game on the BJP. Now, 70,000 crore rupees worth of scam and loot was done during the Heyman Soren's government. And the limit was crossed when uh, Heyman Soren was accused of selling off the land belonging to the defense army, to be precise. And they were uh, indicting documents and he was arrested. He was on the run. See, much like that thriller written by Bill Clinton and James Patterson, the president is missing. Our CM went missing for 40 hours, leaving the people of the state to their mercy. There was no touch with him. And then he resurfaces and he gets arrested. So he and they are portraying the JMM is portraying that as if he has got arrested in some you know public related issue. No, this is a scam. This relates to sell off of army land, and there are other allegations too. If you see, he is the only chief minister in the history of the India to have allotted a mining lease, being the mining minister and the chief minister himself. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, and I think lots of skeletons will come out of the cupboard. But the way Heman Sorin has. Uh, looted the state exchequer of the heart and money of the people well it has set a very bad example i hope my best wishes to the new chief minister champai soren and i would request the new chief minister to take lessons from what has happened to the himan soren the fall of high and mighty if you indulge in corrupt practices this is more this new india there is no scope for corruption and look himan soren is spending time behind the bars even the supreme court did not entertain his plea today so what has happened in Jharkhand is unprecedented. A chief minister went missing for 40 hours. Now they were talking about Operation Lotus, BJP poaching on their MLS. This was all crap because we are not interested in forming the government. Why should we be? We have been given a mandate to sit in the opposition. And most importantly, this government has only like a few months left of its life. So let Champai Soren have a good tenure, our best wishes. But as far as the record is concerned, the accidental chief minister will always be a puppet in the Soren families whose strings will be pulled by the Soren family. But we still hope that the rampant corruption that was there during the Hoheman Soren's tenure will not be repeated during this government uh, tenure. So our best wishes to him. Right, Mr. Dev, we're seeing the political war of words uh, take place there in the state of Jharkhand. You say you're not interested in toppling the government as uh, the JMM Congress uh, alleges that you are. They are also alleging that the arrest in itself by the enforcement directorate was done at the behest of the central government and of the BJP, that there is no evidence against uh, Heman Soren in the first place. That's also something he said uh, in a video message right after he was arrested. See, now they are playing the judge, jury and the executioner all in one go. And I think this is very, very bad. See, you should let the courts decide whether you are guilty or not. Now the enforcement agency has arrested you. They have concrete proof and even in the production warrant that they had produced in the ED court, which is there in the public domain, they had proved, proved produced documents which directly indict chief minister to the sell-off of the prime land in the uh, Bariyat, which is in the center of Rachi. 8.46 acres of firing range land belonging to army were sold off to uh, people close to Heman Soren and even Heman Soren. And the ED acted on time and this cell was a stop, but not before a lot of money had exchanged hands. And this, let's see, I will give you another example. When a very close aide of Heman Soren, Prem Prakash, who is a liar in the political circles, as is very well known in Jharkhand, his house was raided by the ED. Two AK-47 belonging to the bodyguards of the then chief minister, Heman Soren, were recovered from him. No action has been taken in this matter so far. So I tell you, this is a state-sponsored corruption in Jharkhand at its worst. I can't say at its best. So Heman Soren is probably, you know, uh, the Kayamat Kirat, as we call the judgment day, has finally arrived for him. And he'll be facing the long arm of the law. I just hope the new incumbent, the new chief minister, Champai Soren, takes a few lessons from what has happened in Jharkhand and tries to give a good government. But we have very, very strong doubts he'll be able to do that. Mr. Deo, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. The political war of words and the fallout of uh, Heman Soren's uh, arrest and resignation continues to escalate. Saurabh, my colleague, uh, is also with us on this broadcast. Saurabh, Bachampai Soren is not the only one who's taken oaths today. We're given to understand at least three other MLAs have taken the oath as cabinet ministers. 
See, uh, right now Alamgir Alam uh, is taking the oath and he was the rural uh, development minister in Himan Surin government. He comes from Pakur constituency and uh, he has been, uh, you know, uh, he is a very senior leader in Congress uh, in Jharkhand. Uh, so, uh, it was expected as we had uh, uh, told our viewers that his name was in the front runner list of deputy CM. So, uh, right now he is taking oath uh, as a minister. It will be clear uh, clearer uh, if, if he takes uh, oath as deputy chief minister minister uh, in, in the, the Jharkhand government. Uh, just now, uh, Champai, Champai Surin had uh, taken oath as, uh, you know, the 12th uh, chief minister of Jharkhand and now uh, a senior leader of the Congress who was earlier also a minister in uh, the UPA, led, uh, UPA government and he comes from Congress uh, and uh, Pakur is the constituency fr uh, from where he comes. Uh, he is uh, taking oath right now and in fact he has, uh, uh, earlier also he has been a minister uh, in the Hemant uh, Soren led UPA government. He was a rural development minister in the previous Hemant Soren government and uh, the name of Alamgir Alam was uh, in the front runners list of uh, the deputy chief minister. Uh, this is what we had told our viewers earlier also that Alamgir Alam is going to take oath today along with uh, Champai Soren. So uh, in fact there was some kind of uh, uh, a discussion which uh, went uh, uh, inside the circuit house within the Congress MLAs that why only Alamgir Alam is taking oath, why not uh, the other three ministers of the Congress, uh, previous uh, ministers uh, from Congress, they all should take oath together. So uh, there was a bit of heated uh, arguments that took place in circuit house in Ranchi today uh, before this oath ceremony and uh, then uh, finally uh, we, uh, uh, you know, uh, we can see in the video was that Alamgir Alam, a senior Congress leader from Pakur in Jharkhand, is taking oath as a minister. Uh, in fact, Champai Surain, if we uh, talk about uh, some uh, points of uh, Champai Surain, Champai Surain has been a very close aide. He is called the yes man of Shibu Surain and uh, he is now the seventh person who has taken oath as the chief minister of Jharkhand. Uh, in fact, he was uh, there with Shibu Surain when the Jharkhand movement, the tribal movement that took place uh, when when uh, it was not, uh, Bihar was not divided and he has been an MLA for two times. In uh, First time he became the independent MLA in 1991 and then in 1995 uh, he became the MLA from Sarai Kela and uh, when when the uh, when Jharkhand was uh, uh, divided uh, from Bihar in 2005 uh, in 2000 uh, then uh, the BJP government came into power so he uh, in, in 2005 uh, when JMM came into power he became uh, the MLA for the first time in the divided Bihar, that is Jharkhand, mm. uh, for the first time in 2005, he took oath as an MLA. And since then, he has been uh, in, in power. Uh, whenever the JMM led uh, UPA government uh, came into power, remember, there were so many leaders, there were six leaders earlier who uh, took oath as the chief minister, be it Arjun Munda or Shibu Surain, who uh, you know took oath for three times, and uh, Heman Surain took two times, Madhu Koda, uh, Babulan Maran, and Raghubar Das took, uh, uh, you know, uh, for each time they became uh, the chief minister of Jharkhand. Now, uh, only Raghubar Das was managed to, uh, you know, complete his full term as the chief minister, full five terms uh, as chief minister of Jharkhand between uh, 2014 to 2019. Uh, so, uh, Jharkhand has been a state of, you know, a complete instability as far as a stable government is concerned. We have seen 11, uh, minister, uh, 11 chief ministers in the past. So, uh, in 23 years, you have on an average for two years, you have a chief minister. So, a complete, uh, uh, you know, uh, th there is a very, uh, uh, you know, in in instability, we can say, in the state. Uh, you never know uh, what can change. So, uh, now, after Hemant Sorin, uh, who has been uh, taken into custody, has been arrested by ED and he's uh, spending his night in uh, Hotwar jail, today uh, is a big day for him because uh, he has not got any relief from Supreme Court. And now uh, 